Today, we're taking a look at the Lego Harry Potter Hagrid's Hut Buckbeak's Rescue. I'm going to give you some numbers and analytics, and then I'm going to give my review and thoughts at the end. Let's get right into it. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Grandmaster Bricks back with another video. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Set number 75947, Hagrid's Hut Buckbeak's Rescue. It's rated for ages 8 and up, and it's part of the Harry Potter theme, obviously, and then it's part of the sub-theme of Prisoner of Azkaban. It was released on June 1st, 2019, and retired recently on December 31st, 2021. So it had about a two and a half year lifespan shelf span, so pretty long for a licensed set. It had 496 pieces and retailed for $60, which broke down to about 12 cents price per piece, which is average to high for a licensed set. Part usage wise, I started to notice a theme with most of these Harry Potter sets that I have reviewed here recently. None of them have too many new parts. There are new minifigures, there are new molds for specific figures, but there's not a lot of new parts, which also kind of plays into the whole part usage and part out value, and they are all relatively low. You kind of tend to want a set to double or triple. This set barely doubles. It's about $80 to $100 in part out value, so it's just not quite meeting those marks. It's got a sticker sheet, and then the build itself has six minifigures, has three bags for the build, has 162 steps, and then the instruction booklet has 120 pages. Now that we've gotten some of the numbers and analytics out of the way, now I'm going to give you my review and thoughts. If you're going to have a Harry Potter wizarding world, you definitely have to have a Hagrid's hut. I think that the fact that it's not fully enclosed, it leaves it open for playability, does kind of leave room for your own mocks. I think if I were to permanently keep this, it would definitely need to have a closed back. But for $60, I feel like the price point is just a tad bit high. The fact that it does have the Buckbeak figure in it does pull it back. So it's kind of up in the air for me as far as value, but I know part out value just was not there. I think the overall look and feel of the Hagrid's Hut does hit hard. It does hit the vibes pretty well. I know there's some rebrickables that you are able to maybe buy a second or a third set, combine them to have a more complete look and feel, but that really does start to increase on price. Over the years, there's been about three or four iterations of the Hagrid's Hut. Maybe in the future, we'll see kind of like a UCS large style Hagrid's Hut, because I think that could leave for a lot of detail and a cool kind of scene to see similar to the new Hogwarts Express that just got released just in that large scale there was a large scale Hagrid's hut I think that would go perfectly but overall you got to have a Hagrid's hut if you have a Harry Potter village so hopefully you found some value in my video whether you're trying to decide if you want to part out this set if you want to buy it complete if you want to part it out and buy it yourself Lots of different options and a lot of things that you could be looking for. Hopefully my videos are hitting the mark. If nothing else, entertaining and educating in life and in Lego. Never stop building. <laughs>